Hi, I'm Jason Horsch, owner of Xanadu Gallery in Scottsdale and Pine Top, Arizona. And this is Ask a Gallery Owner. I have two questions. They were followed questions from last week's video, um, both related to pricing. And Joan first asks, um, you talk to the gallery owner and mention your price. Do you tell him what you would like and he adds on his commission or do you quote the price the gallery will ask? And how do you price your paintings on your website? With the commission, it is in the gallery or what your price point is. If you're in two galleries who are in different areas, one might be in a lower income part of town while the other is an upscale area, do you charge differently? That's from Joan. And then David asks, if I price my work what I feel is fair and professional and then the gallery doubles it, I feel that the price generally becomes too expensive and is no longer a fair and reasonable price and is double what I would ask from the studio. But if the art sells at the doubled gallery price, I feel I'm only receiving half of its worth. And the profit to me is low and diminished from its professional worth. Please help. Can you comment in terms of wholesale from the studio and retail at the gallery in this regard? I'm a fairly successful, experienced elder artist, and pricing continues to be unnerving and troubling. So David and Joan are not alone in these questions on pricing. Pricing is one of the bigger challenges, and it's going to be a little difficult to address all the issues raised here in the short span of a video, but I want to give you some things to think about when it comes to pricing. First, this is a common way that an artist who's thinking about showing in galleries might look at what's happening. I have the value of my art. The gallery is going to take a 50% commission. Therefore, the value of that art needs to be doubled once it gets into the gallery. And I would suggest that is a misconception, an incorrect way of thinking about the value of your art. Ultimately, what we should be thinking about is we want to optimize the value of your art to get it at a price point at which it's going to sell quickly, that you're going to sell your work regularly. We really need to be thinking more about the collector than we're thinking about our net, uh, what we're going to make. Obviously, that's going to play into it. And ultimately, the truly optimized price is going to be a price at which it sells quickly and regularly and at which we as an artist make a good profit and the gallery makes a good profit. That's what we're aiming for. We're trying to create a balance of all of those things. However, where we start to get into trouble is when we start thinking about how much people are making on the sale of the artwork and doubling the price and commissions and all of that. I think that is thinking about the value of artwork backward. Instead, I would encourage you to think of the value of art being comprised of two separate and distinct components. There is value that is created by you as the artist, as you are employing your creativity, your talent, all the years of experimenting and workshops and schooling that you've done, all of that value comes together. And as you are creating the piece of artwork, that's creating one component of the value of the art. And then there is all the work and effort and energy that goes into marketing, promoting, sales process, handling the logistics of the sale, dealing with the business side of things. And that creates the second part of the value of this art. And those two values come together to create the retail value. Now, what that means is that if I am an artist and I'm selling my own work, creating it in the studio and then putting it on my website, I'm doing studio tours, I'm going to art events and I'm doing all the sales effort, then I am indeed earning the full value of that artwork. And if I'm going to decide instead of doing all of that, I want to work with a gallery or multiple galleries, in essence, what I'm doing is hiring them to do part of the work for me. I'm going to continue to create the artwork and uh, the part of the process that I love, and I'm going to hand off the work to the gallery to handle the marketing, promotion, and sales. And of course, my hope is that by doing that, the gallery already has developed a clientele. They're going to be more efficient at generating sales and handling the logistics of sales because of their experience. And I am consequently, because now I'm not going to have to do all of that work, I'm going to be able to be in the studio more. I'm going to be able to create 
more artwork and more value, and I'm going to be doing what I am most efficient at. And so that's where this split comes in. That's why there is a gallery commission. That Yes, they're taking part of the value, but it's because they're doing work for you, helping generate sales. And so I have a, let's call it, just for easy numbers, let's say I have a $1,000 piece of artwork. It's not that I'm going to take it to the gallery and they're going to double it. Hopefully it's at $1,000 because that's the price at which it's going to sell. And it's going to stay at that $1,000 in the gallery. And yeah, now I'm only going to make 500, but I'm not having to do all the work that went into handling the sale. Another way to think about this is if they are selling it yourself and the work is really worth $2,000, but you're only selling it for $1,000 because you're selling it out of your studio and you're going to make all that, all, all the money. Really, you're undervaluing the work that you're doing to handle the marketing and sales. And so what ultimately what I'm saying here is that, that retail value of the artwork should be consistent no matter where the artwork is selling because there's going to be that amount of work that's going into creating it and selling it. Now, Obviously, it's a little more complicated than that because there's also a hope that if I'm showing in galleries, that they are able to attract a clientele that may be willing to pay more for the artwork and that uh, won't balk at a $2,000 price tag instead of a $1,000 price tag. And that ultimately over time, my value is going to increase more quickly and my Profitability is going to increase more quickly by virtue of showing in venues that can attract buyers who are willing to pay more. And so the hope is that as we think about the value of our art, we're going to think of it that way, value, and the value that's being created by you and by the gallery, and that in essence, I mentioned the word you're hiring them, but really what you're doing is entering into a partnership with them. You're going to work together to maximize the value of your art and bring maximum satisfaction to your clientele, efficiently getting artwork to them and generating sales that benefit everyone involved. I hope that gives you some food for thought as you're thinking about the value of your art. Uh, but if you are thinking that way, that the value of my artwork is consistent, whether it's showing in my studio or in galleries, in the various galleries that I'm showing in, that's really going to give you a framework to build consistent pricing. You're not going to confuse your customers who are seeing your works at a bunch of different prices in different venues, and you're going to be able to start building your profitability more quickly. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions that you would like me to answer in these Ask a Gallery Owner sessions, be sure and leave a comment below. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next session. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at red.blog so you get notifications of future sessions.